30 pounds. No, 30 was, inches. 30 inches. Not 30 that, pounds. That was heavy. That was heavy. It hurt my shoulders bad. You good? Yeah. All right. The dog action, I think, is dead. Not seeing anybody catch anything. I fished uh, pretty much from that palm tree, the little one right here on the corner, all the way down to almost the end. Oh, that sucks. Someone's getting towed in. So that guy, that, that boat right there, they came drifting through here. It's real shallow right there. They came flying through. They've been, it's pretty much as low tide right now. With low tides, what, 1041? And it is, uh, yeah, 1054. So it's, it's low tide. They come in here trying to fish in the rocks and he just drifts his boat, <laughs> drifts the motor smashes one of the rocks right there so that's what they were doing was just trying to push themselves out he drove down there to see if his if the boat works it looks like it's still pretty good wow so the boat <laughs> i don't know why i'm laughing when he hit, he didn't even hit his propeller. He hit the the lower unit. You could hear it scraping against the rocks. They're out there now. He's just been kind of driving in circles. I hope he's okay. I see him on the back, maybe trying to look at the engine or something. I don't know. But the guy driving wasn't fishing, but he's now in the back of the boat doing something. Luckily, the Coast Guard station is that uh, shed right there. So... They need help it's not too far away i don't know it doesn't seem like a good choice to hit rocks here and then drive all the way out into the ocean to see if your boat works he could have just drove from around here like everybody else does so with the tog bite being so slow i figured i would come out here and try to catch some more dogfish. One of the reasons why, I've never actually measured them. I just catch them and throw them back. So I'm curious to see how big some of these are. We've caught some pretty decent ones in the last few days. Uh, my son and I went out yesterday and we caught four. Uh, two of them are on the bigger side that I've seen. So um, I got my super long uh, measure and we'll see see if we can get, get a few and see how long they actually are I think we might have our first taker yep I think we do it's a small one we got him
if he will cooperate, which he won't, he is uh, 26 inches, 26. So the, the one that I just caught uh, was a shorter one, but he wrapped his tail around my whole rig, so I have to tie another one. Um, all I'm using is just a high-low rig uh, with four-aught circle hooks and a uh, three-ounce weight. I'll rigged up, baited up, and we'll send this one back out. Usually if you catch one, you're gonna catch a whole bunch. They swim in packs, like big schools. That's why they're called dogfish. Dogs run in packs, these swim in large schools. So there's gonna be more out here, hopefully. I don't wanna jinx myself. Pretty sure I jinxed myself. Um, there's a crab on the end of it and he's pulling the bait off. So, so there's that. Day two of uh, dogfish extravaganza. So yesterday the bite just turned off. There was nothing. It was just spider crabs eating everything. So I called it a day and that was it. So see how we do today. What is it? It's a small one. It's a really small one. Watch out, buddy. Trying to get this hook on for him, and I got another one on mine. So we're gonna get this one in. You got him? Yeah. Keep going. Let me try to get him in close. Good job, buddy. He's hurt my shoulders. He's, he's so afraid you fight with me. See him jump? He is a feisty one. All right, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back. All right, watch out. Right. Um, if you're not familiar with these, they have spikes, and the spikes are venomous. He's uh, 26, and the spikes hurt. Going, keep going. You need help? You sure? Okay. Keep going. Come around this way. Come around this way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep back up. Back up a little. Yep. Keep going. Ooh, biggest one of the no! How big was Snapped it? right off. That was the one of the bigger ones. 
How big? Uh, he was over 30. I know that. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh. oh, that stinks. All right, we are rebaited, so I'm going to send this one back out. I think we're just going to catch one more and call it a day. Maybe. We have a bottom sweeper down there now. So a guy told me there's tog here. He said they were pretty big. I don't know. I never seen anyone catch any here, but I don't know. We figured we'll give it a shot and try it. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, Wells. It's another small one. Yeah, that's probably the smallest one I've ever got. He is 25. And I think we have another guy stuck on the sandbar. It's the same sandbar that guy got stuck the other day. I should just give up and call this Ocean City Boat Fails. There's another one right up there. He was over there where that boat is, but a little bit like like towards me. There's a sandbar. He hit it, he hit the sandbar. And then now he's messing with the back of his engine. I don't know what he's doing. There goes DNR. if they're going after our buddy that hit the sandbar they did they're talking to him now the end of it for us we're packing it up today we caught what three three and then one came off so four and uh, there's no tog over here that we've seen no bites or anything i have a uh two ounce bottom sweeper with a green crab we worked the pilings all across here and then to this one so that's it for us see you next time